What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. We got guns today, and we have a surprise. I was going to wait and do this one on Wednesday, Willy Wonka Wednesday, but I feel like uh, you guys need a little wake-me-up, a little pick-me-up, and mm. we're going to do Wes Watson reaction on this channel, the big channel today, and we have one on Wednesday. This one is called, of course, guess what it's called? Prison Gangs. And it's oh, also called yeah. Shot Caller. And um, before we get started... My cup over! Throw it! My <laughs> cup! I won't listen to you! No! No, no. That's just a warm-up, you know, little little stretching out right there, Wes. Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready, Gun. Uh, his copy cup overfloweth. I'm ready. Let's get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh. Here we go. Shot callers. Oh, Everybody's all intrigued about shot callers because when they go to the pen, they know who's going to tell them what to do. Hey, fool, he looks tweaked out right there, no? He just he, he his hair is his head looks aerodynamic is what it is. <laughs> it's <laughs> he's got pinhead. Hey, he head. looks he looks sucked up right there. He looks uh some people would say he looks shredded. To me, yeah. he looks shriveled. Yeah. Right you there, know. like compared to now, he's he's all fluffy. Oh, he's all uh, trimmed out. Wait, that's hey. trim, not trend, right there. <laughs> Hey, but look at this. Try not to pay attention to the baby hairs on top of his head. Hey, eh? this is before he cut the baby hair loose. <laughs> do tell him how to program force rules upon him, and that's a frightening thing to most people out here. But shots have to be called, and guess what? Your boy's been a shot caller at many spots, <laughs> many yards, <laughs> many buildings, and I'll tell. <laughs> Hey, Holmes, he's been a shot caller on many yards, many spots, and many buildings. The guy that has the building is not a shot caller, big dog. Let's, uh, I don't even know what to say to, about Wes at this point. It's, it's hilarious. He's living hey, he's, in a material world, like Madonna. I think that's a trailer park in San Diego, fool. Mm, I, it could be. I, don't, I think that's a trailer park. I don't think that's a regular park, but let's get to it. Tell you the breakdown of what I think's good and what I think's bad about being a shot caller. Oh. Other than the movie Shot Caller, I don't really hear about it on the street unless it's on these YouTube channels. So let me clear this shit up real quick. Oh, shit yeah. up. He's going to clear it up, fool. Hey, can you tell that he was lying when he goes, let me clear this sh shit up? Like, you know, he's right now he's in his mind, he's thinking, he's, he's fabricating hey. stories. This might be a good one, Holmes. Uh, it's going to be. How to be a shot caller by someone who's never been one. This is good to see. Weller, 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 a Weller. shot caller can be someone who has the keys to a building. They can have. That's not a shot caller. No, nope. that's not a shot caller whatsoever. But no good try. Man. The keys to a yard or they can have a keys to a whole prison. There is motherfuckers who have a whole prison. How does he keep track of what's going on in other facilities? My thing is why why does he always call everyone motherfuckers? I think he's it's it sounds tough. Oh yeah, because I was gonna say what form of respect as someone who's been in a position of status to call other people that are the same status motherfuckers. Mm. Are you hold on, you believe he had a, he was a shot caller at some point? Ah, I believe he's motherfucking Dragonfly Jones, is what I believe. He's one of those guys that believes. He's about that, but really, he's mediocre. No, hell no, he was no shot caller. Where, in Oklahoma? No, he was Santos definitely G wasn't there. That. Santos G said he was quiet in the corner doing dips. No, Santos G was slinging for him, he said. Mm, okay. Yeah. I've never seen I mean, I, I, I've never seen that, but he said it. Have keys <clears throat> to the whole prison in the whole county. Everywhere. Those are the biggest homeboys. Those are the people you know as the AB. Oh. The people who have the the keys to every prison in their county, and that's the fewest of people. Now it breaks down to the motherfucker who's got the keys to the yard. Oh, the motherfucker who has the keys to the yard. Man, things got dangerous right there. I, hold on, where's my button? Fucking, let's do the when, button. Sensor when button. Said, when he said... Um, to the whole prison, that's what he was talking about. I don't talk about those people. 
Yeah, he's saying that every prison in, in their county. Hmm. Oh, shit. I didn't know there was prisons in every county. True story. You know. We got how many? We got 52 counties in California, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, they really? need more prisons. Yeah. Mm. Santa Barbara. Imagine Santa Barbara's so beautiful. I want our I want us to have a county jail that's beautiful. We do have a prison in our county. It's do Atwater you? Federal Penitentiary. Oh, damn. Yeah. We don't have a state prison. Do you think I wonder if Wes ran that prison? From Oklahoma. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. He, he was there, you know, um, in building fucking 19, level, was, level 7. But he was there um, in spirit. In spirit. Mm -hmm. Like all the other ones. There's guaranteed on every yard in California prison system right now a bundle that fucking Wes Watson hooped. Guaranteed. He asked people to send him home care packages so he can hoop them in Florida. It, it still smells like his shit on the yard somewhere right now. Yard. Guaranteed. He oversees everybody who's got the keys to every uh, building, every block. Now, a person who has the keys to the block oversees just the building and the inmates in his building. So, I mean, there's many different shot callers at many different levels. This is militant. This is prison. These are shot callers. These are motherfuckers' lives. You don't fucking... Hold on. Hold on. Eh? My God! Uh, what part oh. of the fucking... My God! I won't listen to you. No. Hey, his cup was overflowing right there. He was, I had to pause him. I thought he was going to go crazy right there. You, you think he's going to calm down? His testosterone was overflowing too. That about to got wild real quick. He started spitting and fucking, hey, I'm telling you, not even a dude, fly wants to come around him right now. It was part of his ethnicity. Mm. Like, I think that your tribe isn't always determined by your ethnicity. True story. That's the stupidest shit anytime I hear it. Play when you come to the pen. Uh -oh. Now, basically, I've been around most of the shot colors I've been around base their shit off some shit like that Robert Green book, The 48 Laws of Power, which I don't fucking agree with, and is actually a book that is deemed contraband by CDC. You can't even have that book. Because <laughs> hey, Holmes, look at one thing I noticed about Wes straight up. He doesn't know what a 180 is. He doesn't kind of has an understanding of what a 270 is, right? He definitely does know what dorms are. Absolutely. But he knows every single rule in the yeah. title 15. He knows the dom, the dom in the title 15. I'm like, damn, how, what were you where were you doing? He was making sure he wasn't gonna break a rule. He memorized the whole fucking title 15. Oh, yeah. You know when they hand it to you when you first get there, they give yeah. you a little yeah. Hey, most of us we just fucking throw it away or whatever. That that's, that, red, that shit. that's the handle for your water bag. Yes, that right there is. That's a coaster. <laughs> yeah. For those of you that, that don't know, the Title 15 is the rules and regulations of the Department of Corrections while you're incarcerated within their prisons. They hand you this book called the Title 15. It's it's like the size of a magazine. Mm. And apparently, Wes Watson has studied every page of it. Great job, Wes. Because it's some bullshit that is telling you how to take advantage of people and be a shitty human being, in my perspective. That's my opinion. Who cares? You don't have to take my opinion. This is just what I feel about it. I'm more of a, a leadership type of individual who's going to do... <laughs> Injimingible. Injimingible. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Hey, that's a new one. Hey, that goes right along with ethnicity. We have now individuals. <laughs> Hey, Hans, this Vata said, I'm I'm one of those leader type engine vengevals. Hey, I know the same, if it ain't white, it ain't right. But what's going on yeah. with his lip? Them motherfuckers are chat. Them <laughs> motherfuckers are white, huh? He's got state park marshmallow man lips. His hair is what fucks me up. I can't stop looking at it. I I'm shave mine because I don't want people to talk about me like that. Fuck he looks that. like fucking Dan Aykroyd from Coneheads. Fuck. Hey, Hans, he really thinks he's a... We're only two minutes in. Sheesh. Six minutes to go. More than he asks you to do. So if I ask you to put in work and stab this motherfucker, if I ask you to put in work and put hands on this fool, remove this fool, just know I've done it. You never stab nobody. But stop it. Just stop what? it. Wes, you did le you did less than eight years in prison and you went supposedly from a level four to a level two. You can't do that. <laughs> you can't what? do that work. You didn't stab. You didn't stab a fly. You better stop it. Wes Santos said you got in a fight with somebody. You said mm -hmm. you got in a fight with somebody, but you said that you hit him so hard that you split him from here to his butt crack. 
I don't even know how a punch does that. Navalto just hoops like this now. He just puts it right there. <laughs> he almost split him into two people with one punch. Navalto's crazy. So I'm asking you to do less than what I've done before. And I can ask that because that's how it is. When you're the boss, when you're the shot caller, you have someone doing work that you've done before. That's how life works on the street. That's how life works in the pen. If you don't like it, don't go to the pen because the pen is based on violence. And you got to go to work. What about it? He said, if you don't like it, he said, that's how it is on the street. Why is he always bringing his gun out? Look at his finger gun out. Uh oh. He said, that if you don't, that's how it is on the streets and in prison. That finger right there. Let's let's everyone take a good look at that finger with the little <laughs> small hand. That finger smell. It's stained brown from shit. Like, you know, <laughs> that finger has been up inside West repeatedly, several times over. That is that the thumb? Is that the notorious thumb? And he puts the cloud with, and then he fucking bangs it. And he's, I, I was making sure, making sure. Oh, sure. Is that oh, the he, thumb? He is that the cloud? That's the notorious thumb right there, Dubs. The thumb that he sits on and he gets fifty k a week for doing it. Hey, mm. what about what about his his before he he got on the allegedly got on the steroids and the train and all that? Remember his voice was like this. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm West Motherfucking Watson. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Hey, and, and, and now his voice is like this. Yeah, that's that's shit, eh? Fucking Vato, but yeah, his hands are funny. In power, like I've said before, it's a dictatorship. It is not a democracy. When I walked into some of the first yards I've been on, my celly had the yard C yard at Sentinella. Huh. Now this dude. Uh, now he was in Sentinel. He never went to Sentinel, did he? No. <laughs> you never been to Sentinel, stupid man. Uh. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it, Wes. He's to see yard in Sentinel. Wes, you must fly. Again, this dude is off. The hook and people say he motivates them. What what so far? Look at so far, two minutes and 53 seconds in. What is he motivating right now? Um, I don't know, man. He motivated me to know that he's a fucking liar, right? Hey, look at I'm telling you, all the Willy Wonka knights out there, he oh, just man. lied to you. That man has never been anywhere in the close proximity of so he I bet he, he can't he can't even spell Sentinella. Stop it. Hey, look at his mouth. Why does it always every time I stop the video on him, it's a crazy face. This, Why is this, so scabbed up? this was a four yard. Now, this dude was so blown out about how much power he had. He didn't care. Pimping and pandering is a bad charge as a. What happened? That Valto was lying. He stopped in mid-sentence to think about what he was going to say next. He licked his lips like, like a certain someone. That was crazy. Yeah. God, this guy's fucking crazy, Dubs. Okay, so he's talking about pimping and pandering right now. So somebody must have had that charge. Where's okay. he going? Where's he going? A white dude. You cannot have that charge. Help that me. is a sex crime. Pimping and pandering. Yet I saw this motherfucker, my own celly, on the cell phone, telling his chick personally to pimp herself out so he could supply his drug habit. No, I don't agree with that shit. <laughs> I don't think any woman should be ever... What the fuck? Uh, has Tourette's. Eh? Sandro, shout out to everybody with Tourette's. I'm not making fun of you. I'm making fun of him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Wes. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, that bought the way. Buck, wild right there. Hey, but allegedly, according to his story, Dubs, right? So his celly is the blown out. He said the blown out shot caller. So he's the blown yeah. out shot caller. Yeah. And yeah. he's pimping his wife over the phone. Let's see yeah. what Wes is going to do about it. <laughs> and remember, so this is when he left Donovan reception. And now he's he's he went straight. This is his very first level four. And he's he's going to fucking confront the shot caller over mm. pimping and pandering. Let's see if this is what where the story goes. Ever be pushed to any bullshit like that. And it pissed me off from the gate. This fool was famous for telling his chick that the pussy was for clucking and the butthole was for fucking. He told mm, her she could sell his, her pussy for his drug habit all she wanted while he was busted. But when he came home, that butthole better not be touched. And this is some real fucking shit from a real sick-ass motherfucker. Now, later, later down the line, 
he got stripped of his power. There was there was different power plays going, and he fucking shit went bad for him. Pretty much, people didn't like his get down. But well, what, what did you do, Wes? You, I mean, everywhere you go, you're that motherfucker, home. So, are we gonna get into what you did, or did you just sit there and 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 uh, twiddle your thumbs? Yes. Yes. Oh, shit. What did you do, homie? <laughs> Yeah, you like it that way. <laughs> well, what thing is this? What did this vodka do? This vodka do. It's he so far from the world. So he just ate salt pies and just kicked no, it with the shot collar. No, 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 no. What he really did, and this is, this is, look, it, this didn't happen. None of this happened. But if it really no. did, if it really did, what Wes would have done is he would have slammed heroin with that same dude. So all that talking about, he didn't like the get down. When that dude got some dope in the house, Wes was a dope fiend at the time, and he slammed with them, scratched his fucking nuts all night and with his fucking chin on his chest and giggled. That's, That's what would have really happened. They found out a different loophole to overthrow him, and he got his motherfucking shit handed to him. But that's how it is in the system. You're not safe as a shot caller. The very few motherfuckers at the top have to worry about IGI so fucking tough. They're going to get rolled up by IGI. And the, the, the highest up people, IGI being the, the investigation uh, gang investigation unit in the pen. The people who investigate the pens. <laughs> the investigation gang unit investigation. <laughs> It's it's the institutional gang investigator. And look at Holmes. Let me help you guys out, especially all you fucking trolls that think you know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of dudes in the joint that just don't know. There is only one IGI in every prison, except if you weren't like in the Bay where they have the gang unit in Corcoran and where the shoes are at, right? There's one single IGI and he is a lieutenant. What you guys refer to as IGI is actually ISU. The black yeah. badges is ISU, Investigative Services Unit. They're the ones that come and jack you up, try to validate you. The they put it together. They submit it to their boss, who is the IGI. One, one person. But all these dummies like this, they, they know what time it is. They hear certain terms and they're like, oh, the IGI is coming. No, they're not. Well, the let, me, let me elaborate a little bit further. Like Dub said, there's only one. He's a lieutenant. And he not only investigates inmates and convicts, he also investigates his own people. He's investigating the cops. He's investigating everything going on. Cops that are bringing in dope, all that. That he's investigating everything. And so, your visitors. Yeah. And your visitors. Um, investigating the highest GIS, USGIS. Is <laughs> IGI. So if you're calling shots, these are who are gonna fuck with you. Oh, by the way, real quick, the guys that 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 accept that type of responsibility, they don't give a fuck about. ISU and IGI, they tell him, man, fuck yourself and ass. Do your job. I'll do mine. That's the way they look at it. So this dude is, they're worried about it. If they're worried, if they're worried about it, they don't need to be in that spot. Yeah, Believe that. But anyways, the yeah. highest of the high people, they'll probably get a federal indictment for any sort of phone crimes or fucking drugs they're pushing on the street or murders they're fucking, they're having take place from the joint. Obviously. I mean, this is obvious. You, people act like there's too much being said, but every fucking thing is known. It's whether you blow the spot up or not. That's why if you're accountable for your actions, you can only blame yourself. And that's something you need to take to life. Don't ever start blaming people. when. You oh, here's the motivational part right here. We're in it. We're well, in it. One minute. Before we get to that, uh, if he was a shot caller and doing everything he says shot callers do. Yeah. Then why are you out here driving around Lamborghinis, Wes? With a Shouldn't purse. You with you? In the He's talking about all the shot callers are having people hit. They're doing this. They're doing that. But he was a shot caller every, every place he went, basically. Mm -hmm. Why is he out here sitting at a park bench in San Diego? Why did he do? Why did he do less than eight years? Mm. And swears he did ten. Mm. And how did he make it to a level two? Mm. Those are the more important questions. See, these are the things that like, but right now, look, look, we're not going to get sidetracked. We're not going to get caught in the weeds. Those weeds right there. We're not going to get caught on them. Because we are now in the part of the program. He's giving us a free glimpse into his uh, $4,000 a month program. Let's check it out. Let's see if it's oh. worth it. You get cracked. Don't ever start blaming people when bad shit happened. I didn't blame the fucking snitch-ass, bitch-ass motherfuckers who narked on me. 
I just said I was a fucked up individual for fucking with lames. That's how I protected myself from it in the future. I fuck with very few now. My circle's small. I like it that way. I've actually met better people off social media that got better energy, got better plans for my life and theirs than I did ever in person. It's fucking awesome. It's awesome, man. But anyways. Anyways, yeah, again. 48 laws of power, a shady way of controlling people. My way of leading in the pen, my way of being a shot caller was extreme accountability and leadership at its highest potential, <laughs> at my highest potential, which was me always noticing traits about people and spending time deciphering individuals. Stop it. I'm trying to decipher this bullshit right here. Is this fucking preschool or prison? This is about the time I, I spent individual time with each person on the yard. Man, this don't was a care ass where he, this was, he was counseling men. Yeah, he was, on, so he was on a level four yard telling lifers and, and, and killers. Let's have a one on one sit down and, and, and get to know each other before I tell you to go kill someone. Yeah. Have you ever noticed he, he never had a job assignment? He's never he never talks about working, huh? He's never mentioned. He has never once mentioned a job assignment. Do they have job assignments in the in the? Do you know if they have job assignments in level twos, like in dorm living? I, I've never been there, but I, I don't want to speak on. I've never been there. Someone tap in. There's someone that's been there. It ain't yeah, no big deal. Yeah, been there. Maybe it's maybe just, in one of those joints like Chuckawalla or something, they probably do. But like, I'm sure I don't, I'm well, look, they have so so like in New Folsom. They had the gym was level twos, or maybe yeah. they were level ones. I don't know what the fuck they were. Um, they don't get job assignments. That's why I was just, I've never once heard him talk about a job assignment. Well, I, I did gym living in level three gym mm -hmm. and, and I worked the kitchen. So we did have job assignments in the building. They did have porters that would just sweep, mm -hmm. clean the bathrooms and shit, sinks and stuff. Um, but I don't know how they got down on the actual dorm setting. That was, that was gym, you know, overflow. See, here we are being dumb, right? And acting like what he's saying is true, right? That's what we're actually, we got caught up in the bullshit. Yeah. But in his fairy tale, he's not saying what his job assignment was. There's only one job assignment that he would have that he would actually even be able to talk to everyone. And that's a yard crew assignment. Mm. He's never had that. He's never yeah. been in EIA. He's never talked about that. Nothing no. like that. Mm. Nope. Hmm. Interesting. When I got to know people, I could see that there's two types of individuals that exist in the pen. There's a type of dude who has no lack of confidence. He has a slight ego. He's willing to do some shit that he don't even agree with. And that's the type of dude who walks in a room and says, here I am. You know, he's that type of dude that here I am uh, motherfucker I when he walks in the room. And that type of dude has to yeah. be pushed to be more compassionate for his fellow soldiers. Wow. He has to be pushed to have love for him, show love for him and bring him up. This is how you build a what? Who's going to push that type of individual? A motherfucker that don't give a fuck. You ain't pushing him. He's going to push back, buddy. Well, oh, this is this is the ultimate lie right here. Yeah, so, this is what you believe in this four, fairy tale level four. Dudes that aren't going home, dudes that have proven themselves, they've earned their spot on the level four yard, and you're going to convince them that they need to be compassionate. They're like, man, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're showing weakness, Wes Watson. I, I believe everything he says. Eh? Quality team. Now, there's the other type of individual in the pen who's that, there you are, motherfucker. They're always looking around, and they're trying to find where they fit in. And that's okay. They just have a lack of confidence. They have a lack they of fucking follow fly. through on shit. They need to be pushed. So this is how we help each other. These people need that more. Did you hear that fly? I, it took me a minute. That flight, I heard that fly. See, I'm out of here. I I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this is exactly what the fight did. I'm gone. You're a fucking liar. <laughs> the was posted on the on the end of the table the whole time listening. He was like, "This is some bullshit." You know how flies like to land on shit, and it was posted. And then he was like, "I'm out of here." Hey, because just imagine all the flies congregating on his asshole at this point. Mm. He can't oh, feel shit. it through his fucking basketball shorts. Oh shit. Fuck is he swinging his let's leg get to work table? type attitude like I have on my Instagram. Fuck your inner bitch. Fuck your feelings. Let's fucking go. Those are the type of people who need that. But the type of people who already have that are the people who walk in the room and they say, here I am. Those people are already with the business. They're ready to go, but they need to be more compassionate, work well with others, more interdependently so that they can succeed. And they don't run themselves into the dirt with the overinflated ego. 
What? So now me being able to see these two types of character traits in individuals. What does that mean? Did hey, that was like a Biden speech. Did you catch that? Because I don't even think he caught that. <laughs> it was a Biden speech. He shits on himself like Biden too, probably. Yeah. No, but like, see, this is the part where he gets into the 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 fucking Mariska Hargitay fucking guru shit, right? Where mm-hmm. it, this will really like. This is what these people believe that pay thousands of dollars for this bullshit. The reality is you are not going to be talking to another man about his emotions and how he needs to be more compassionate in prison. You want killers on the yard, period. You're not trying to dumb it down. You're, you you want to identify who the who are the ones that are really with it. Keep them and, around. Yeah, this, this fuck is make a more compassionate. Well, you know, he, he's the Dalai Lama of the foreyard. So he's this, who said, this who said he's going to make a more compassionate so it's a better team environment. Mm. (laughs) i was able to not be an orchestrator i was able to be a leader and a leader wants the best for you a leader showing you the fucking way that worked for him not pushing off a shitty ass way that was passed down from him from a bunch of bitch ass motherfuckers a bitch ass motherfucker like i've said before (sighs) what do you mean it's passed down passed down from him (sighs) listen Go ahead. I'll let you go first. Holmes. No, no, I'm done. I, I don't even, there's nothing more to say. He's saying it all. Right. Go ahead. This is, this is the reality. I don't know why I get caught up in trying to bring reality to this bullshit. The bottom line is this. The program is the program. And that's all that matters. Nobody Period. gives a fuck about your feelings. You're going to get in line or you're going to get the fuck on. Period. So all this, I handed down so I could be a great leader and you could be a great man. You're going to play your position, whatever it is. They'll figure it out wh- what your position is. And if they got any love for you and see you need some schooling, they're going to ask you to do something so you could go sit in the back for a while and, and learn something. Nowadays, they don't have the back. So I don't know. I don't know if that's an option. And if it isn't, poor you. But I was going to say that too, Dubs. Ultimately, yeah. the guy that's on the yard is just the extended arm or the yes. eyes and ears of who's back there. And that's, that's what the counts. Way. And you're going to go way. with his fucking program, period. Not your program. His per- program, period. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Is that motherfucker who's going to have you do shit that never worked for him and he know isn't working for him till this day. So I always, even though in videos I've said I've had people put in work, I gave them the best route to get themselves out of it in the best manner possible. What? Because there was, there's people above me, like I said, in the call. What do you do? Tell him to snitch? Yeah, How do you tell him to get away with it? No, 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 no. But he gave him the best avenue to get out of it, not get away with it. He said to get out of it. He gave oh, him so an option. Not do the pegada. Yes. How does work get done if you're asking somebody <laughs> to do something, but then you're telling them how they could say no? This guy is the, a, the <laughs> ultimate anti-wood. What he is anti wood, <laughs> ultimate anti wood. He is the weakest. Oh, man, man. Hey. Up. This is fucking amazing, eh? Like mm, he really says the like he puts these videos like doesn't. Oh fuck! You know what? This is this I'm one. Gonna is- you, I'm gonna put you on the spot. You need to do a video dubs <clears throat> concerning the youth authority. What would have happened to West in the youth authority? I'd like to see you do a video on that. If I put ones in the chat if you guys want me to do a video on my opinion on what would have happened to Wes Watson had he gone to the California Youth Authority during my era. You guys I'm put one. You. you guys want to see it? Calling of shots. There is motherfuckers well above me. I'm just having a block or a yard. Now there's someone above me that will have my ass whacked in two seconds if I make the wrong call. So don't be a shot caller if you don't have to be and be one if everyone else around you is a fucking wreck. It just so happened. I. Oh, my God. Listen, even in that right there, you know, he's not really with the business. If you land somewhere and your group. You see, it's a fucking wreck. Nothing's established. You know. This job ain't for me. How am I supposed to bring these dudes up? What you do is you look for a target, you whack them, and get the fuck back to the back, and when you get your next transfer, hopefully you wind up in a better spot. But you do not 
you land somewhere and then every it, the whole place is a shit yard and be like, yep, this is exactly the spot I want to run. You know how quick they're going to tell on you? This dude don't have no understanding of prison politics. That's a perfect indication. If it's fucked up when you get there, it's going to be fucked up after you leave. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah had a certain set of charisma i had a certain set of standards and so and consistency and institutional sophistication oh. to when, when i walked into a spot it was obviously my next because the motherfucker there wasn't cutting it and always had to ask for my advice to make a proper shot call on any shot anyways stop spitting wes that motherfucker Damn. spit a waterfall at us hey homie this he's the hidden hand yeah this he's is, the one he's the puppet master eh? He he is the 49th law of power. Hey, this is where I say when he goes up to the shot caller, he's like, hey, listen, bro. I need to get at you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, and there's someone in the back saying, Tell that stupid motherfucker to roll it up and come back here. I need to get at him. Yeah, they, they, Wes is amazing, man. Thank you, Wes. Thank you for all the the humor and the comedy you bring to uh, the prison. Uh, and what to we our, do, what are we gonna do without him? Literally. Yeah. You, 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 <laughs> like, how could like? I think there's squares. Honestly, I think there's squares that have watched prison movies that have more game than this dude, and he actually yeah. wasn't incarcerated. They, hey, hey, this this has been brought to you by fairy tales from Sentinella by someone who can't spell <laughs> Sentinella, nor have they been to Sentinella. Thank you. All right, we're almost done. Let's try to get through with this bullshit. Don't tell me it's going to be an ad at the very end. So the fucking point being, like oh. the movie Shot Caller that oh. I haven't even watched, but oh. I saw one clip on YouTube when I was coming through it. And, it, and it was the fact that any normal motherfucking one of you can end up in the pen and get a piece put in your hand and say it's time to put in work, motherfucker. Oh man, that dude trying to put it work, motherfucker. Hey, that motherfucker wanted to put it. So basically, that whole video was about ways to get away with not having to do a pegada. <laughs> that whole video was about uh, how much bullshit can I make up? Hey, there's, hey, there's, wait, wait, there's 22 seconds. You know he has another channel. Let's see if it's. Let's see if he shows it. He usually has his beanie on funny in the in that one. Let's see. Show it, man. Nah, he's just. That's ah, I wanted hey, to show. You know what he's doing? He's just trying to sell you a water bottle at the end. <laughs> Come on, walk in the yard. I think that's it. In daily episodes. Nah, that's it. He's just trying to sell you a water bottle and uh, some special aura nutrient that fucking empowers you to be a truck caller on, on every level one you go to. Some lube and some lube. Yeah, some lube, and it comes with a free lifetime supply of lube um, for rough times. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. My thing well, is, one more thing I wanted to say just how. How the whatever happened to that shot caller that was pimping and pandering? He just never did nothing. He said he got rolled up eventually, but Weston yeah. said he was involved. No, 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 no. West was getting loaded with them in this imaginary scenario that never mm. occurred. Never in Sentinella. Oh. His 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 Sally wasn't. We got to remember, none of this is real. And and you yeah. know, those of us that have been to prison, we hear these stories and we hear all the shit that he says that's wrong, and we react like jackasses. Because he doesn't know anything about any of this shit. He's making it up on the fly. And um it's but we all fun. Get, it's fun. We all get a good laugh. There's no yeah. hatred. Like Wes could have all the money in the world and it's all good. He was able to convince a whole bunch of dumb motherfuckers to send him money, right? They and I say that out of a place of respect. Right? But um no, don't worry. They he they spent they they give him thousands a month and he calls them pussies, bitches, motherfuckers, punks. So what you just said, they loved it. Those guys oh, loved what you just said. Send me ten thousand and I'll call you a motherfucker too. Straight yeah. up. Yeah, send him. I'll, I'll send call him you every five minutes and call you a motherfucker to motivate you. Ten thousand and I, I I'll I'll throw in for free a couple bitches too. I'll I'll call you a couple things you need. Just let me know what you need. I'm not like that, but I'll give you a motherfucker on the hour every hour. 
you get a couple of son of a bitches by dubs, and I'll give you a lifetime supply of pieces of shit. So it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. But okay, this was another fun one. We appreciate it. A hey, hey, gracias for uh, sitting in on this one, Gun. Let's get this. Uh, off. Let's get him out of here. Um, everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them, man.